really sucks. He wishes he didn't have to deal with. Mostly dangerous because sometimes I walk and then people don't even stop and they just go vroom. His school, Coronado Hills Elementary, is right by where he lives, near the corner of Franklin and Nova Vista streets. They love school. They're just always scared when they walk home. <laughs> Carla is Jacob's mom, who wants to see speed humps on these streets. On the other side of 88, they have numerous speed humps. It's a huge help. Her doorbell camera shows people speeding and running the stop sign outside their home. They'll get here and not even stop. They'll just keep going. As long as, long as they can see the car not coming, they'll keep going. But they're looking for cars, not looking for kids. One of the cameras on their neighbor's home <laughs> caught a hit and run, too. They also sent us this picture. They say is a rollover crash from Friday nights. We've seen two rollover accidents right here in this intersection right here in a 25 mile hour zone. They'll still get their cars flipped over. The parents say they've been trying for years to get something done about it. I am extremely fearful that a kid is gonna get hit. Someone's gonna get hit and it's gonna be bad, especially how fast they speed through here and flip around these corners. And that's what I wanna prevent. I hope they know that there's kids on this road and there's a school and you're not supposed to be speeding around here and there's a stop sign for a reason. Determined to make their streets safer with their kids in mind. Lot more to one, Denver 7. And an Adams County spokesman tells us their public works and roads divisions conduct speed studies and surveys to determine where to put things like speed humps. And since county offices are closed today, they said they will send us more information about that specific intersection tomorrow. If you're looking for work or TD 